what, what the pipe organ people say is you will always have an organ. Every 50 or 60 years, you may need to do a, a, a fairly large uh, overhaul of it just because the leathers and things wear out. It's still in perfect condition. Wow. So it's just, you know, the, all the blowers and all the stuff that makes it speak have right. been lost. This is the fourth building, and this was built in 1873. The organ was built in um, 1880, I believe. They didn't have the money to put it in its place when the church was first built. It, there was originally, it was a self-contained smaller organ down here on the, in the nave. And then when they had the money, they, they put this in. One of the things that it didn't do, and it, it probably was because of all this carpeting and stuff, the sound never made it to the back of the church to support congregational singing. And it also, it, one of the things it, it could have done, one of the reasons it could have been is that the, when it was electrified, um, the blowers and everything, it was, it was not a good job. It's the worst location you could put it. It's a very common in Episcopal churches. Even in the great cathedrals, um, Washington, D.C., the National Cathedral, they, are, they're having, they have organs in two different places. So, I mean, the hope is that you know, the congregation will say, you know, this is a wonderful um, gift to be able to give future generations because you know, pipe organs are more or less phasing out.